Let's do it. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. So can you believe it? I'm here. <laughs> this is so exciting. So it's really trippy because you're all the way here from England. I, I can't even believe it. Are you having fun? I love it. It's especially exciting to be at your house as well because I've never been here before. I always like meet you in LA. So. I know it's fun and I don't live like right in the city of LA so it's really fun to have her kind of trek out here and be in my yeah. little world. <laughs> so have you been vlogging while you've been out here? A little bit. Okay, so I'll link her vlog channel too so you can kind of see her little journey out here to LA. It's so exciting. Oh, and we're going to be doing, okay, we're going to be doing videos <laughs> on Fleur's channel. Um, what are we doing on your channel? I think we're doing like an outfit video on my beauty channel and then we're doing like a celebrity crushes vlog, which I just made up. I, don't I really love know why. that. I think that's such a good idea. Yeah. So um, we're going to do that on my vlog channel and then I'll probably vlog today when we go for lunch. Yeah. As well. Me too. So you'll so. see Nikki a lot on my channel. Yay! So. so I'll link all of her stuff. So for today's video, we are going to do, since she traveled out here, and a lot of people are traveling right now, a little like travel bag slash travel tips video. So we're going to go through our stuff and kind of give you our top tips for traveling, the products that we like to carry, why we like to carry them. She's a little more of an experienced traveler than I am, so she's probably going to have a lot more to offer in this video, but that's why we're doing it. But there's that, different types of traveling, yes. isn't there, as well? There's like long haul, or if you're traveling for the holidays and you're going to see your family, you might be like driving, or so, yeah, all true. sorts of different tips. All, all kinds of <laughs> traveling and tips. So, how do we, do you want to start? Yeah, my tip first of all is to get a makeup bag like this one because this is awesome for traveling it has two sides this is actually specifically made for flying so it has a takeoff and a touchdown side um this is from Annie Hindmarch, so it is a kind of pricey option, but you can choose like any two zip makeup bag and you can have like your little routine for taking your makeup off and like mm. moisturizing and then like to freshen up before you land. I it's just love so it. It's so cute. I love it's that cool. bag. Yeah, and I I have a bag, um, I can't fit as much in mine, but I tend to like, I don't know if this makes sense, I tend to overpack so much in every other department, my bags get really heavy, I try to just make myself narrow things down. So I actually think this will be really interesting, because you have more like extensive products yeah. with you, and I have a little bit less, and I have stuff for people who are, what is that word when you always feel sick or you're hurt? What are those people called? Hypochondriacs. I have stuff for hypochondriacs. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to start going through yeah. your Yeah, so for my takeoff thing in this little compartment here, the first thing that I always have is an amazing deodorant. Um, the one I use is Mitchum because you don't want to get stinky yeah. when you're traveling. So if you have like a 48 hour deodorant, it's just good to have it. And that brand's keep amazing. It with you. Yeah, do they have this in the States too? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really it? good. It's like the best one, I think. Yeah, I like it um, too. And then I always have face wipes to take my makeup off. Also, just to freshen up, even if you don't mm. have makeup on, sometimes if you're on like an 11, 12 hour flight, like I have to get on to come over here, you just, ugh, I use like five face wipes <laughs> in the flight. Every like time the I airplane go to the bathroom, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I also obviously have like a moisturizer and a lip balm, which actually isn't in here. Hand sanitizer is another one that mm. is really good for airplanes because if you can't leave your seat as well, if they put the um, seat belt sign on and you can't leave your seat and you want to like, I don't know, put moisturizer on, you don't want to be like touching your face and stuff when you've yeah. been sitting next to stinky people. And hypochondriac <laughs> note. There are a lot of germs on airplanes. Germ just, just saying. Um, and then the rest of the stuff, I have like a few masks. So I always have a kind of face mask. Um, this one is actually like a clay one. It's green. But what I tend to do is just put a, a small amount and really mm. like rub it in so you can't see it so much. And then you can just wipe it off with a face mask, with a face wipe. And then I also have um, hair oil, which you hadn't heard anyone do. Yeah, before. I hadn't. That's um, awesome. Which, because I have, have obviously like color treated hair, it mm -hmm. gets really dry. So, and the air conditioning on the plane doesn't help. So, I put it just in the ends of my hair. And I probably did this on the flight over here probably six times. And my hair was. Did wasn't, you really? Yeah, and it wasn't greasy when I landed. Wow. So, it like sucks everything out of your hair. Yeah, so. that's good to know. I would have never thought of that. Yeah, and then I have, yeah, moisturizer, hand cream is another one, mm. um, and a face mask for sleeping. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it cute. smells too. It's like a scented one to help you relax. Oh, that's what I smell. Because when you open your bag, I smelled something. Like, I was like, mm, mm, interesting. I didn't realize it was coming from um, And then I also hair bands to tie your hair up, perfume in case you want to like smell a yeah. bit fresher than you smell on a plane. And that is like my takeoff. Wait, question. Do you like these hair bands? Yes. What's amazing about them? Well, 
I don't really know. They kind of like. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> For me, the skinny ones aren't strong enough to like mm. hold my hair up. These ones will actually like I can work out like running, working out, not uh -huh. like Pilates or whatever. My hair falls out if I'm running or moving around like doing circuit training or anything. My hair falls out like five times if I have a normal hairband in. And this but one these holds ones, it. yeah, hold it because it like gets caught on that little knot. The only thing is they stretch out, and a lot of people said, oh, they stretch out after you use them like twice. You just put them in the washing machine, and they like, what? you know how it's jeans stretch yeah, out? Yeah, like, yeah, and they just stretch back. That's amazing. Yeah, speaking of which, you so, become like quite the little workout queen. Yeah. I love it. I remember <laughs> the last time we talked about working out, you were like, I hate it. And now you're like, you're in it. Yeah, you're I'm trying good. really hard to well, go get for into it. I still don't really like it. I just try hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just discipline myself. I know. I'm like right there. I'm there with you because now that I'm not dancing anymore, it's like not working out isn't as exciting to me. Yeah. So I like have to make myself be so good after. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through my hypochondriac bag. It's and, rattling. Yeah, it's rattling with <laughs> pills. So okay, and it is actually true. I am such a hypochondriac. I feel like I'm always hurting or nauseous or worried about getting sick. So when you came to New York, you had pills. Yeah, the pills in the bags. <laughs> These. And we're like, yeah, uh, no, what are you what doing? Are yeah, this is not just for a video. I really carry pills with me. So the first thing I have, like she was showing, are the pills. Now, I will <laughs> say, it is for the video in the sense that all I have in here is vitamin C. When I'm going on a trip, I usually have more pills with me, which I know sounds weird, but these are 1,000 milligram vitamin C tablets, which are um, capsules, which is equivalent to one milligram or one gram? One gram. Um, so it's actually equal to one pack of emergency, but I bring emergency as well. I brought a few flavors in here. I bought the super- Does that dissolve in water? Mm-hmm. And it's sweet and it's yummy, so you could put it in like a water bottle. And the difference is this is pure vitamin C, like so just ascorbic acid, and this has other stuff in it as well. So it has like, what does it have? Probably zinc. Yeah, zinc. There's like different types of vitamin B, B6, B12, folic acid, um, just different types of things to like help. multivitamin. Yeah, exactly. And it's good to keep sickness away from you. And for some reason when I travel, like sickness just wants to come and take over me. So those are the first things that I keep on me. I also carry Advil with me, a little travel bottle. And I think part of the reason I'm so anal about bringing pills and stuff like that with me is because I'm in my head, I'm like, oh, I only have this short amount of time. I don't want to yeah. get sick. I want to enjoy it. So I'm really like I know that I get sick, so I bring all this stuff with me. So a little travel size bottle of Advil. You catch bugs on the plane too. Totally. And so that's what I have there. And I would normally have hand sanitizer with me. I stock up on the little travel size before mm -hmm. I travel, but I haven't traveled in a while, so I don't have the little mini bottle. Um, then this is weird, but I carry those Colgate Whisks. These good. Yeah, these things are awesome. They're a little creepy because you just break the little thing in your mouth. Like there's a little capsule of toothpaste at the head, and so you bite and it pops in your mouth, and you brush your teeth and you do everything, and then you can like drink water and spit it out. On the thing, it says you can swallow it, but that just creeps me out a little too much. <laughs> but um, it's really awesome because sometimes your teeth when you're traveling, you just oh, they get fuzzy, ugh. don't they? It's like that. So Horrible. It's so gross. And some flights, like, I don't know, maybe yours since it was overseas, they give you toothbrushes, but... They actually didn't. When It depends on the airline. If you fly Virgin, they give you... Good job, Virgin America. Bad job, everyone else. But that's what whisks <laughs> are for. They're awesome. Um, so I have that. The other thing is, I don't... If I'm trying to pack light, I don't carry an extensive, extensive amount of face stuff. Um, because I can get really carried away with a lot of stuff. So my minimal that I'll carry is I'll bring a face wash because the same thing I'll usually wash like if it's a long flight mm -hmm. a couple times. So this is just the philosophy purity made simple. And then this is just a juice beauty moisturizer. It's their green apple moisturizer with SPF 15. And I read in a magazine that you should wear SPF in a plane because you're closer to the sun. Really? Isn't that interesting? So especially for really white people like me, I thought that that was good to know. That was interesting. I never knew I that. I know, huh? So, um, the other thing I have in here is if I don't... Well, know, obviously I knew you were closer to the sun. I'm not that yeah. tall. <laughs> I didn't but know wear the SPF. it like, got into the plane yeah. so much. Isn't that interesting? So then I have two tinted lip balms. I really only need one. Um, the reason for that is if I'm going through like multiple air ports or whatever um, and I don't want to wear any makeup, for me just putting like colored lip balm on really wakes up my whole face because I am so white and I have like black hair. Um, oh, you have your whole other side of your bag to go through. Yeah. Oops. I have the landing. 
Oh That's yeah. Cool. Okay, should I finish mine and then you do yeah, the other yeah, half? Yeah, finish it. Okay. So then if I do, if I change my mind and then I do want a little makeup on, <laughs> I only carry like a translucent powder with me. Um, just because then it's something to get rid of the shine. I get really, really oily. So if I want to put a little something on, I'll put on a little translucent powder, colored lip balm, and big sunglasses. So I have it just in case. That's a good idea with the big sunglasses. It like covers just cover everything. everything. Cover it does. Your whole face. I don't even need concealer. <laughs> Um, then I carry with me a little contact case with solution because I don't want to bring a whole bottle. I'll wear my contacts as long as I can and then I'll just take them out in here, put it back in. Um, the other thing is for skin, I probably should have gone through this earlier, I'll carry like some type of zit cream. I like this one because it's clear. It's the Clean and Clear Advantage. It's popped pimple relief gel. I don't mm. know why they call it that. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Oops. Dropping Advil. But this is the one I like to bring because it's clear and it's skinny and thin so it fits in like anything. I almost hit you with a pen. But. And last but not least, um, I throw my earphones in there. I love this thing because you've got the little and jelly case cool. and you just wrap them up and stick them in there. And I'm like infamous for tangling my headphones. Yeah, my so, get tangled. This is awesome. So that's my whole bag. So now you can finish yeah. your landing portion. I actually forgot the contact lenses in these because this is my bag from when I flew over here and I used up the contact lenses and took my glasses out. But normally I have, I wear daily, so mm. I'll normally have, I'll take the pair out that I'm wearing on the plane and put my glasses on because you can fall asleep with them, it's like, yeah, oh, not it's good. super painful. So to land, I actually do take a toothbrush and toothpaste because the airline I flew with on the way over here didn't have it. Yeah. So I have my toothbrush, a mini toothpaste. Normally I have a mini toothbrush, but they didn't have them in the <gasps> shop that I went to, so I, I couldn't buy one. Those. Then I have a little mirror. <gasps> Stop it. <That's laughs> so I love cute. this. It's usually, this is usually in my handbag. A subscriber gave it to me. Um, and then I have Listerine as well. Um, just a mini bottle which I'm not going to put on there. Um, so then I take like a basic set of makeup. So I'll take a tinted moisturizer, um, a highlighting concealer. This one, if you tried these, they're amazing. No, I haven't. This is the the L'Oreal and the Maybelline one are exactly the same because they're the same company. This is the L'Oreal Touche, Touche Magique. Touche Magique. They're really good. They're like um, Touche Eclat. But... Yeah. Do they sell those in the States? Yeah. I think ah. so. Ingrid has one. Um, and then I take mascara, usually eyeliner, but the eyeliner has disappeared. I believe it's probably in my handbag, which <laughs> I would also have on me. Um, and then a cream blush, because um, you can use it on your cheeks, and you can also use it a little bit on your lips as well, depending on the cream blush that you want to use. What color is that? Cactus Flower. Okay, I've been looking at that color for a while. Do you really like it? Yeah. <gasps> it's amazing. It's It's got like a real gold shimmer to it. Oh, it's so pretty. Because it looks kind of scary, but it's actually like... How do you use out. your cream blush? How do I put a brush or with your fingers? I usually put it on with my fingers because I'm usually in a bit of a hurry. Mm -hmm. But it does go on really nicely with a foundation brush. Do you ever use a foundation brush? I don't. Like I use my beauty blender, but I don't use the brush. Sometimes I use like a standard foundation brush, just and you know, like the they're like the paintbrush ones. Oh yeah, I yeah, use, yeah. Sometimes I use those to apply cream blush. Would you mm -hmm. say people like me who get acne on our cheeks can still use cream blush, or would you say to say to stay away from it? I don't Honestly. know. What do you think? Because I've never had acne, so I don't have experience with that. I don't know. Maybe I should try it and let you guys know. I feel like it wouldn't be any different from regular brush. Yeah. Brush. I'll have to try, guys. As long as you make sure that like you use clean brushes and stuff yeah. all the time. Which is why it might actually be better if you do have acne problems to use your fingers, because if you have clean hands, oh. it's not the same as using Because you know sometimes bacteria can build up yeah, yeah. brushes. Yeah. Well, this was fun. <laughs> this have... is a random conversation we've just it's been okay, talking about. It's okay, it's good. I have lots of questions. I don't get to see you enough, so I have lots of questions. So I think that is it. Do we have any yeah. final notes or no? Happy traveling. If you're traveling for Christmas or Thanksgiving. Yes. So I guess that's it. So happy traveling. Be sure to go over and check out Fleur's channel and subscribe. She's absolutely amazing and I love her and I've loved her ever since Aww. I met her and before I met her. <laughs> I told you that I watched your videos like before I started YouTube, right? Did I you told you that? You. No. Did I really not tell you that? You I think the first that. video I saw of yours was when you were talking about like going to a concert with Mike and you looked around. I think you had like 40,000 subscribers. And you were like, wow, that. there's 40 or like 10,000 yeah, people here or no, something I do like that. Remember that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember watching you since before I started videos. Random conversations. So subscribe. <laughs> you have to. We're going to do a video over there as well. And yeah, we will see you yeah, later. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.